guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? Let's get straight into today's video. It's a super exciting one. As you can tell by the title, it's all going to be about Jackie Aina's collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills Major AF. Before we get started, I have to do it because her collab and she always does it and I love when she does it. Jackie, 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 hey, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. So I actually watched her video before I boarded the plane to LA. She's such a sweet person. I've met her a few times and she's just like how she's on YouTube. And when she released this collab, I was like, bitch. Bitch. This is what we needed. I just feel like, oh, I'll just get into it when we talk about the video, but let's just get into it and open this baby. I've already opened it already because I wanted to see it in person and it comes in this beautiful like um, PR box that looks like this. It's kind of just giving me like a mermaid kind of like dual chrome feel. It feels expensive. It feels super, super pretty. I just love it. And this is the palette here. Hold on, is my light gonna pick this up? Pick this up. So this is what it looks like here. Sorry, my light is being a bit mad. Um, it has this kind of like um embossed feel to it. And it has obviously JA. I actually love it. This is kind of like a different palette and kind of feel for Anastasia Beverly Hill. Let me show you the colors here. So these are the colors. Oh my god, the things fell out. It's super, super beautiful. I actually feel like it looks more beautiful in real life because sometimes I feel like cameras and lights and stuff can really throw up colors. I just love all the colors and the names like Wigglies, Shookington, and Zam. Zam, daddy. So I cannot wait to create a look with this. Um, I'm obviously going to do eyes first. This is going to be a review, but I know I'm just going to love the palette. And just shout out to you, Jackie, for creating a palette that we can all use, especially if you're deeper skin tone. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyes using some of the Too Faced Multi Use Concealer in Chestnut. I actually love this concealer still for highlighting and obviously as her eyeshadow base. I don't put too much on because obviously this concealer is super full coverage. How are you guys doing? Obviously I landed back from LA. I'm super jet lagged, but I'm holding on in there. I just feel like the time difference in LA, taking a beauty blender, is just a tiny bit mad, like eight hours ahead of us. Like, I just feel like when it's daytime here, it's nighttime in LA, so I'm actually kind of feeling it, but I'm super excited to be filming with this palette because I just cannot wait to see what the colors look on my lids, you know. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna take is Ginger, which is this shade, which is a beautiful transition color. I'm so excited to use this color because it's very, very unique. It just looks so beautiful, so. I'm gonna take a MAC 224. This palette's already out, by the way, for anyone that's asking. I know it's um, sold in Sephora. I think it's, I think it's exclusive to Selfridges. I'm not sure if it's in Harrods, but I think it might be exclusive to Selfridges. And obviously, I think, I'm not sure if it's an Ulta. I think it's an Ulta, but I know it was released yesterday and I think it's 40, three pounds or 45, but I'll put everything in the description bar. This ginger color is so beautiful. Like I'm kind of like shook. Okay, so I've got ginger all over the crease as a transition color. It's super pretty, super natural. What I love about this palette is you have ginger, credit and edges. And I just feel like there's so much looks you can create with this palette. And I just feel like the pigment is just, you know. So I'm now gonna go in with a bit of edges and just put some in the crease. Oh, this color is so, Nice, like, oh my God. This color kind of reminds me of um, Mocha Mami by Fenty Beauty, just but like a tiny bit lighter. It's really nice. <gasps> oh my God, it's kind of rare to like get a palette where you can use every single shade and not skip like two or three because you end up looking like Casper the Ghost, <laughs> you know? No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Nah, um, I'm gonna take credit, love this name. I'm gonna put some credit in the corner of my eye. My credit is okay, honey. So I'm sure just gonna stamp credit there. She did say on her Instagram that, not Instagram, her Twitter, that she didn't, she and Novena decided not to put a black in the palette because I think when you add black in a palette, it just kind of changes 
the look and the whole story and i feel like a brown is nice because a lot of people just don't know what to do with blacks like a black can really take an eyeshadow look from looking from like a 10 to a 17 like sometimes in the best way and sometimes in the worst way just because some blacks can look quite grey, some blacks can look overpowering and sometimes people find blacks really hard to blend out so I feel like a brown's always nice because brown looks flattering on every eye colour and it's just so easy to blend out and this brown is just so pretty. So I'm just gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna use some of the P. Louise base in rumor number five, just to cut the crease. Um, I just feel like I just love doing this step because it really just makes colors pop. I'm just gonna use the corner here and just start from this side. So now I'm gonna put some of Wigglyse, which is this color here. This is probably my favorite color in the palette this one here and um, it's kind of like a red kind of coppery color can you really take a moment for the pigment like sis such a pretty color so so nice it's kind of like burnt red oh so pretty so i'm just gonna pat this here oh my the pigment is not letting me down here. It's such a nice color. It's quite unique as well. I haven't seen this in a palette for a while. So hey guys, I literally just whacked some lashes on. I'm not sure what was wrong with me today, but I just couldn't like, I don't know, I had to redo the eyes again just because my eyes were watering, my hands were shaky. It's probably because I'm so tired. I really like this look with the palette. It's really like, you know, glam, shazam. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit of base and then do my under eyes after. But these lashes look really cute with the eyeshadow. Is it me or? <laughs> so I'm gonna prime my face using the Pat McGrath primer. I really like this primer at the moment. It's really, really pretty. What do you guys think of it? It actually smells really nice. I used it while I was in LA and I kind of mixed it with um, a Cover FX one and I really like the way it just makes my skin quite smooth and it is kind of mattifying and I'm really loving the foundation. So that's the foundation I'm gonna put on today. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Deep 27. I'm just blending out here. I really love the Jackie Aina palette. I think it's such a cute palette. I would love to experiment with other colors like the purples. I think the colors in it are quite like, very user friendly. I feel like you can't really go wrong just because the transition colors are there. Um, you've got the bright purples and I think each color kind of like goes together quite well. So what I love is anyone can use the palette. It's not like, cause sometimes you get those palettes that are quite like bright and a bit crazy. And I feel like sometimes when people get them, they don't really know what to do with them. Like, especially like color, like kind of combinations. It can be quite intimidating. I use the color corrector just because I have got a bit of pigmentation. I think just because where I was in the sun a lot, it just kind of come through. So this foundation is coming up really nicely. I really, really like this foundation. It's so bomb. And the color just suits me perfectly. Like it's so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of credit which is this brown shade here again, and put some under my lash line. These shadows are just so pigmented, and we're just gonna put some under the waterline like that, and just like kind of smudge it out really with a pencil brush. This is the Zoeva 230 Lux Zoeva brush. Zoeva brushes are so good, I feel like they kind of get slipped on. So I'm then gonna take the shade edges which is this one here and put this under um credit i keep forgetting the names but the names are so cool i'm just gonna use this mirror here and put some of that under there like that i'm just gonna put some of soleil in my tear duct here Ooh, that is so pretty so pretty like it just kind of adds that oomph you know like bam <laughs> 
So hey guys, I added some Gucci just to be extra AF. Um, the, this is the completed look. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, I added a bit of Soleil under the eyebrow just because Jackie did actually say she added this color because a lot of um palettes that have eyebrow highlights are normally quite ashy, which is true. As Jackie should be super, super proud of herself. My favorite colors are Wiggly's, Shookington and Ginger. Ginger has a, a really, really unique undertone, which I've never really seen in a transition color before, which shows up on my skin tone so perfectly and buffs out so nice. I feel like this palette is so user-friendly. I feel like all the colors work very, very well together. You should definitely cut the palette if you have a chance to. It's gonna be in Southridges, Ulta, and I think Sephora also, but definitely do your Googles and check it out. If you guys have tried this palette, definitely comment down below, and I shall see you in my next one, guys. Bye. Bye.